With all the controversy surrounding forward-facing sonar these days, attention to side scan has taken a back seat. However, side scan is a more important tool for breaking down new water or finding new areas on large systems. Unless I am fishing in a smallmouth lake with miles of featureless sand flats or targeting walleyes on mud flats, I would choose side scan over forward-facing sonar if I had to pick only one technology to use. I'm a somewhat late adopter of side scan as I spent a lot of time fishing familiar waters that I knew well. But as I have started exploring more and fishing tournaments on new waters, I have come to value this technology a great deal. Side scan is an effective tool for breaking down new water or looking for specific habitat on familiar waters. I will cruise along at trolling speed while watching the side scan looking for changes in the habitat. On lakes like Mille Lacs, it means looking for larger boulders in deep water adjacent to reefs or mud flats, mapping out the shape of a rock spine, or looking for sand, rock, mud transition areas. On a system like Minnetonka or the Gull Lake chain, it means looking for changes in weed lines, finding open pockets in a milfoil bed, sunfish spawning colonies, or areas with a slightly different mix of cabbage and coontail. On my Garmin Echomap devices, my go-to setup for scanning sessions looks like this. I have my base map and down imaging in small screens to help me navigate, with side scan on the top half looking out 50 to 75 feet, depending on the type of terrain, weed cover, and proximity to shore. Many anglers now will scan for a specific period of time before they start fishing a new lake. I've talked to tournament anglers who will spend entire days during practice sessions scanning, maybe only throwing a few dozen casts all day just to verify that fish are using the areas they find while graphing. Ultimately, I try to use all of the tools at my disposal to predict where to find fish. I don't believe those who say that technology shortens the time to learn a new lake or is like cheating for new anglers. It can, in some cases, allow inexperienced anglers to fish the community holes more effectively than they would without the technology. But there is no substitute for time on the water to acquire knowledge about that lake. I don't care if you prefer to spend a day running and gunning spots with a rod in your hand or graphing with all your rods safely stowed in the rod locker. If you put the time in with a plan, you will be able to find and locate your own fish away from the spots with the names on the map. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check out our other videos.